Never move into a woman's house. You will regret. About 10 years ago, I had to learn this the hard way. And boy, never again. At the beginning, it always used to be a joke. You know, the get out of my house. And you just, you know, you kind of laugh it off because it's funny, right? Until one day we had a disagreement and then she said, get out of my house. Me, like an idiot, I thought, oh, she's just joking. And she just went, get out of my house. Um, I got to honestly say, I know women that abuse that whole situation where if you have yeah. a house or apartment and they use it as a sense of control. So, and they manipulate you and then they feel like, okay, well, look, you need me. No, but let the let the roles, you know, reverse at some point. And then these women are going to really realize, okay, you know what? <laughs> video number two. Number two. Slide video number, number two. two. So video number two. Let me hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Let me make sure I got this set because I don't want this woman oh, getting on me. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't got this set, but you, you know how she is. She got a nasty attitude and everything. I do not. Don't be putting that out there about me. I do not have a nasty attitude. My name is Honey Dip Tea and my attitude is sweet like my name. Oh, I'm sorry, we weren't listening. Were you? Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> so video number two, he says to never move in to a woman's house. Not a never. Uh, he never. Said not not a never. Never. Not never. 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 Never move into a never. woman's house. <laughs> yeah, hey, we're peanut. It's this don't do podcast. It. <laughs> Let's go. Never move into a woman's house. You will regret. About ten years ago, I had to learn this the hard way, and boy, never again. At the beginning, it always used to be a joke. You know, the get out of my house, and you just, you know, you kind of laugh it off because it's funny, right? Until one day we had a disagreement, and then she said, "Get out of my house." Me, like an idiot, I thought, oh, she's just joking. And she just went, get out of my house. I was like, <laughs> and because my name wasn't on the lease, I had no choice. I had to leave, overnight bag and everything. But the next day she called me and said, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't really mean it. You can come back. Which I did, because <laughs> I had nowhere else to go. But best believe, I spent the next two weeks looking for my own place. But check this, me looking for an apartment actually caused us to break up because she thought, I had commitment issues, and I'm just like, <laughs> what? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you no, know, so funny when, when I don't see me and my wife broke up because I'm going dead at that hoe. <laughs> when, Lord have mercy. When when I, I, don't, yeah, don't call her no. We gotta give shots no. fired. No. Give, yeah, shots fired. <laughs> Goddamn, no. you know okay. mercy. When I left that motherfucker hoe. Um, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the mom, the motherfucking rent was due at the time I left. <sighs> So, you know, so, you know, yeah, she was all sad. And yeah, I don't give a fuck. I would have been right at the bar. I strategically <laughs> left at the end of the month. Yeah, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Kiss petty. my black ass. So petty, so petty. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, Richard Petty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, petty, Petty Tendergrass. Look, petty Murphy. Yeah, petty Murphy. <laughs> petty a lot Watt. of y'all women is not going to agree with me. Y'all probably going to hate me, but I agree with the men on this one. Um, I gotta honestly say, I know women that abuse that whole situation where if you have yeah. a house or apartment and they use it as a sense of control. So, and they manipulate you and then they feel like, okay, well, look, you need me. No, but let the, let the roles, re you know, reverse at some point. And then these women going to really realize, okay, you know what? Damn, he just kicked me out of his house. Where am I going to go? That's not cool because at the end of the day, he's still a human being. He still needs a roof over his, his head. And if y'all made that agreement for him to live there, that's not cool to just kick him out whenever you feel like it. So oh, like so I said, you heard the woman, I know the it. women is not going to like me today, yeah. but it's the truth. Listen, uh, let me tell you, look, I had a situation where me and my girlfriend at the time, we went to, I don't know, like a Best Buy or something. She wanted to get a new TV, right? So this was her thing. She wanted to get a new TV. I'm like, all right. She was paying for it. But I know that when you go into those stores, if you don't know what you're talking about, them people will hustle you to buy something that you mm -hmm. really don't need. <laughs> so I'm in there. I'm talking to the salespeople. They trying to get us to buy this Samsung TV. TV 3500. I'm like, we do not need no 35. But the whole time I keep saying, oh, she's getting the TV. She wants a certain size. I kept saying she, she, she. To let the salesman know, like, this ain't my TV. Oh, no, nah, they're going to come dead at you regardless. So we talk. I'm. She see me talking to the guy. 
We he starts showing her the TVs or whatever. He walk away. She turns and says, "I mean, why are you having all this conversation for, uh, with him for? Because I mean, at the end of the day, I'm the one buying the TV." Oh shit! I said, "I know you buying she the TV." At your neck, I said, "I know you buying the TV." I've been telling him that this is she's buying it. Well, I just feel like you should just uh, just like fall back a little bit and, and let me get what I want. Oh, I said, wow. I'm cool with that, but I just Dang. don't want you to overpay for a TV. She tr- you're you, trying to help her out. <laughs> she came from at that moment on, I knew for a fact that not even just the TV, that house that she had bought, she she was, when I first met her, like literally the week I met her, she was buying the house. So it wasn't like it was a thing that we both set out to do. She was already doing this by herself. That moment I knew, okay, this is going to be different. So no, I was like nope. She would be like, "Oh, you coming over?" I'm like, "Yeah." All right, why don't you she, why don't you just stay here and like live here with me? No, no, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> no, thank you. That was it. I was you, like, know, oh. you know, listen. Before I go to the first comment, I, I when I when I was living with this for this particular female, I'm not going to say unstable her name. creature. You know, I mean, I'm not I'm not going to say her name because I mean we still we still, let's not say name. My grandmother was sick at the time. Okay, but so but she thought I was cheating. I was like, "Oh, you got to get out." And, and I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm So why cheating. did she think that? Like, I mean, you know, I've cheated in the past. Oh, okay. but <laughs> Oh, so basically she just didn't trust you. Oh, my but, God. but at that particular time, I was I was up cheap. and up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me off of that. Judge me off the present. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Say it again, goddammit. Don't judge me off the past. Judge me off the present. Really? I'm like, delivering. Do now, both. but it wasn't that particular I'm time delivered. I was cheating. Not you know that what I mean? But that, yeah, okay. yeah, it was it. Right, you know? Not that too. Weeks. Well, Come on oh, not that two weeks, but yeah. three weeks before that. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my the past god! Is the past. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, 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 let's go to the first comment. So, first comment says, "Unfortunately, it works both ways." But so mm-hmm. you know, it, oh. off that comment. Hold on, I want to ask T. Any of your girlfriends have ever been put out by a man? Hell no. Oh, um, I don't know no girl that ever went to go live with a man. See, exactly because because it seems like mo- most men don't. Well, you know, I'm sorry. Most women don't move in with men, and I can't. I, mean, I don't understand I that. M- nine times. I mean, are they hobo, what is it, homosexuals? Homosexuals? I think. Homosexuals? I think. I think. You know what? And I'm just going to be honest. I think because majority of the time, the females that I know, they have houses. Yeah. And the guys that they know, they probably kind of like have apartments. So it's like, okay, I got a more stable situation than you. So, so you might, so you I don't might know. move in. I don't, yeah, it could be. And yeah. let's and let's keep it. Let's keep it funky. At the end of the day. There's a lot of women who get housing assistance so they can get houses earlier than men. At 22, I'm paying my own rent. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to say that, you know, it's a good or bad thing. It's just they have an option that most men don't have. You can go on, get low income. house. It don't even have to be Section 8. You can get low income housing or you could get some kind of single mother grant and all this stuff that well, they don't give the guys. The, probably the child. I would I would say I wouldn't want well, to, yeah, I wouldn't I don't, I don't sure. want you to think to, to yeah. you should discriminate that it's just women no, no. because I think it's for both but a lot of times what happens is what knocks the men out of the box when it comes to that is because the men are they grinding so custody. hard, right? They ha- they men are grinding so hard. They got these kids, so now the men is making so much more money than the females. So now your income is way higher, or it looks way higher than the female. So don't think that so, men but, are not available, or those those grants and, and stuff like that, or financial opportunities are not available to the men. But you just said it. They make so much money that they 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 uh. They uh, x themselves out. Right. So a, a lot of times, yeah, it's just like again, like at twenty one, a, a, a girl or even even something like uh, living together. Like women, it'll be they'll have roommates, and a guy like I mean, it's rare that you see four guys living in a crib like we want our own thing so it's yeah, like see, I, it take, I need, our, I need it take us a little bit longer to get mm. there so it just be a little bit different <laughs> yeah that's why you don't really see women living with men so it's we like, got a comment from jaleel it says any man that doesn't have his own house or his name on something is homeless homeless <laughs> one thousand percent homosexual yes what yeah, uh, homosexual right there. Wallow, shout out to wallow what do you call him um Couch warriors. God damn. You're a couch warrior. Hey, look, couch warrior. Like, I, I know a lot of homosexuals. I know. A, oh, I'm man. Sure y'all do. Yeah. Man. Ho, 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 it's a whole bunch I'm of them I'm about to start there. a whole <laughs> tell for homosexuals. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, man. But see, I used to be a homosexual, but I always had my own stash. You, 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 you used tell to live me with things? other chicks? Huh. You used to live Back with other chicks? Yeah. yeah. I was raunchy. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. 
Man, go from one house to the next. I'm saying you. Papa you leave, was a rolling stone. Pistol, Wherever I laid my <laughs> hand was my home. And call, when he, wait, no, we didn't call him Pistol P. Yeah, yeah, no yet. gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, let me do what? Oh my god! But let me tell you, I always have my own spot too. Oh, so I, I mean, used to. Uh, man, that what? don't really apply then. If you had your own spot, if you doing both, because you always had your own then. Yeah, but they didn't know that. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, look. Yeah, as as, get out. As oh, long I'm as you bitch. knew. Yeah, I, I just don't think that's cool. That's cool. The minute somebody say, oh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, you got to go. <laughs> no, number two. Video comment, number two. No, comment number two. Oh, no, comment I'm sorry. Number comment number two. I find that an older fella living separately works better, much better. I'm going to be the Ain't first. Ain't that. I'm going to be the first one to tell you. If I ever get married, excuse me, I'm definitely going to have my own crib. Oh, a separate one from your wife? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you think? (laughs) And so, listen, when when you getting on my damn nerves, (laughs) girl, I love you. I love you. What about the the man cave in the basement? I don't want that. I want the man (laughs) mansion. He want the man house. Man house. (laughs) The man house with another address. I want to be able to lock you out. Oh Lord! So that when you are getting on my nerves. I listen. I can face you. Could be you want to be FaceTime? Cool. You can see my face. I'm gonna have you on mute. I'm at my volume down. <laughs> he so you, said she gonna be on mute because I want you to see. I'm not cheating or doing nothing. I just want you to leave me well, alone. He, he like I'm on me time. Yeah, I, I leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right. I got my own crib. Here's the address. No, you can't come in. But this is my space. I need my my Wusa moment. Yeah, so just, I, bring I'm some, a, just bring me some food. And I'm I'll a be proponent right. of that. Look, just tell her to bring you some food. Hey, is it? Nope. <laughs> she ain't got to bring me nothing. I'm okay over here. <laughs> I'm self sufficient. So, so T, would you would, would you date a man who who had his own spot? I mean, of long course, term. What you mean? No, I'm talking about long, long, long term relationships. What do you? All right, clarify your question. Clarify. Yeah, clarify. All right, you're dating a man. Okay. I'm sorry. You're involved with the man. Going on three years. Okay. And you're like, you know what? We should make this. Hold on, y'all. I'm, 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 I'm pouring my. Oh, Lord. Wow. 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 Big while, dog while right I'm talking there. tea. Yeah. And, and y- y'all dating three or four years. And, you know, I mean, you say, listen, I think we need to take this to another, another level. And he's like, and he said, yo, I agree. Okay. But I'm not giving up my spot. Would you still? Of course. Because, that? I mean, at the end of the day, I think the ultimate goal is to to combine things so if yeah. anything let's buy a house together you know see t said she's you know man she hit it right on the fucking number man that's that's how i would think yeah, yeah let's buy a house together should. like it's nothing wrong with me staying at your house sometimes you stand at my house sometimes and we can continue to co-mingle until we What's join that? as a union but is the same woman that says she gonna traumatize his kids <laughs> by walking around the house naked <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he can't traumatize her <laughs> say that oh yes you did <laughs> see see why i want my own spot <laughs> you gonna have me with that i never said i was gonna traumatize anybody yep i said i used to do that yep. <laughs> oh no if y'all could judge us off y'all our past we gonna start judging y'all off y'all past yeah. what the look hell? at least i admit it i'm a woman enough to to admit that i used to do it look look and i had to realize like all right you know what my son's is getting older i gotta stop doing this oh my god wait your son's is getting older so you're gonna stop walking around naked in other people's houses no i'm just saying that i used to do it at home oh well oh. you was one of those weird parents so okay yeah Oh, okay. All right. So, look. So, comment number three says, if he doesn't move into mine, I'm not moving into his. Well, guess we're living separate. We are living yeah. separate. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Shoot. I'm not giving But why any- does it have to be mine, his? Because if, if y'all just dating and... Mm-hmm. See, this is my thing. If y'all just dating... And it's not really going nowhere and y'all not really making no long term goals. Ain't no way in the world that I'm even thinking about moving in with you. For what? The Mm -hmm. only reason why I'm going to be thinking about us living together is because we're at a point where, okay, you know what? We're elevating it to another level, meaning Mm -hmm. not just dating way beyond the whole dating. Like, okay, marriage type thing. Like, I'm not just moving in with you just because. I mean, I get it. I get it. But I think she's just saying like at the point where y'all you know established a relationship hey all right cool uh, you keep me if you ain't moving you ain't moving in i ain't moving in we just gonna be separate so yeah i, think I that's mean cool. but that's fine i mean i'm good with that like i can still have my house you have your house i can spend a night at your house you spend a night at mine's like it's not changing anything yeah. it, it doesn't change or have any impact on the relationship at all whatsoever 
I just think that people. But, people, but now, if you want to take it farther and further, and say, okay, well, listen, I think we should sell both our properties and and once once we get, get to a point property. that you're getting married, yeah. I'm not selling a goddamn thing. What 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 about renting your property? Oh yeah, yeah I definitely I mean, rent it. I, I'm not selling a damn yeah, thing. Because it, nope, I'm not doing it. I mean, I've done it, and and, and the reason why I say I've done it before, yeah. like my, whole my thing, ex had his house, I had my house, and. When it was that time, we was going to get a house together. I mean, and and that's my mindset. Like I've always been that way. I mean, and but then again, it's like I'm not the the, the typical type of female that's out here in these streets. Oh yeah, yeah, trust, <laughs> yeah, trust me, she not. <laughs> she be looking for men with 17 inch necks. Ah, stop it. Y'all know, y'all know what that means. If you got a 17 inch neck, that means you can. <laughs> you know, oh, okay. Yeah, you can hold this position. <laughs> yeah. For a long oh time. my God! Really, really? That means you can sit on a footstool and, and, and neck be over the bed, and you're not stretching like the rest of us. And your neck, and you ain't got that crooked yeah. neck in the morning. Yeah, yeah. You can, oh, you God. know. Yeah, yeah. She be like, she be looking for those type men. She looking for the guys that can uh, uh, dive deep and play PS5 at the same time. Damn. They ain't even got to do nothing. They just here with it. They got the controller in their hand. They knocking it out. Oh, y'all know what the hell like, I'm looking for. They like, yeah, multitask, yes. motherfucker. <laughs> multitask. Yes, my man is very good at doing multiple things. <laughs> oh, man. She's like, yeah, he gonna eat this while he playing Donkey Kong. Oh, Lord, <laughs> anyway, anywho. Anywho. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, tell like, us what comment, you think. Subscribe. That's right, this is your podcast, man.